The Democratic Republic of Congo has a history that's difficult to take in. From the mismanagement of Belgium's King Leopold, to the corrupt leader Mobutu Sisi Siko, to the battlegrounds of Africa's horrific world war, the country has experienced long periods of instability. But the second largest African nation is staging a comeback and by most accounts, is headed in the right direction. There are regularly travel advisories for DRC, but during times of stability, there is a magic wilderness to explore here. Today we share the top 10 best things to do in Democratic Republic of the Congo so you can plan a trip and experience all the exciting attractions and activities this beautiful city has to offer. Starting with number 10, Lake Kivu, straddling the border between the DRC and Rwanda, Lake Kivu is the sixth largest lake in Africa. One of a series of freshwater lakes in the region, Lake Kivu offers lovely scenic drives between the towns that dot her shores. From Sayanga to Jisinyai, the gently winding road affords breathtaking vistas as you leisurely make your way. Tons of banana and eucalyptus trees line the road and the locals will pause and wave as you pass by. At number 9 is the Lolia Bonobo. Lolia Bonobo is a sanctuary for orphan bonobos and one of the most popular tourist attractions in the Kinshasa area. The bonobos are hunted for bush meat, and when a mother is killed, the babies are often taken and sold on the black market as pets. The sanctuary tries to recover as many as possible so that they can live out their lives in safety. One of the four great apes, bonobos have been relatively isolated until the 20th century. At number 8, Niragongo Volcano, the skyline of Goma in the DRC is dominated by Niragongo. This unbelievable, 3,000 plus meter volcano last erupted in 2011, destroying up to 15% of the surrounding land and leaving over 120,000 homeless. Erupting 34 times in the last 130 years, Niragongo is located at the junction where the African tectonic plate is breaking. The landscape around Goma is striking, with black solidified lava so wide that the place looks like an above-ground coal mine. There's an active lava lake inside the crater which can sometimes be visited. At number 7, Virunga National Park, located along the borders of Rwanda and Uganda, Virunga National Park is a designated UNESCO World Heritage Site. As the country's oldest national park, it's also the most biologically diverse. You'll find lava plains, savannas, forests, valleys, active volcanoes, swamps, and even glacier peaks in the Rwenzori Mountains. Roughly 25% of endangered mountain gorillas call the park home, and Virunga is the only park to have three of the four great apes in one place. At number 6 in our list, Garamba National Park. This national park is filled with unending grasslands and savannas. And these are filled with elephants, giraffes, hippos, black rhinos, and white rhinos. Garamba National Park is a designated UNESCO World Heritage Site and an amazing sanctuary for several endangered species. It's rare to see so many different classifications of large mammals sharing the same space and that makes a visit to the park an absolute must. At number 5, Falls of Zongo, located in Bakongo about 130 kilometers from the city of Kinshasa, the Falls of Zongo represent Mother Earth at her best. If you're looking for a few days outside of the city, the falls are a great option. You can tent camp or rent a bungalow and explore the area for a couple of nights. Enjoy hiking and taking a cool dip below the falls. At number 4, Kahuzi Biega National Park, named after the 3,000 plus meter MT Kahuzi and the 2, 700 plus meter MT Biega, this spectacular national park is located in the South Kivu province and stretches from the Congo River Basin to Bukavu. 
Cahuzzi and Biega are extinct volcanoes that now afford some incredible hiking. It was created in 1970 in order to protect the eastern lowland gorillas and just 10 years later was designated a UNESCO World Heritage Site. Gorilla poaching has been a problem for decades, but thanks to the park authority, a dedicated education effort is ongoing. At number 3 in our list, Kinshasa, the capital city of the Democratic Republic of Congo, as well as one of the 11 provinces, is Kinshasa. It's chaotic and buzzing with energy and really huge, with over 10 million residents. Established by Henry Stanley in the late 19th century as a trading post it's now likened to an African New York City. Enjoy a boat ride on the Congo or barbecue picnic on its shores. The Marque de Voleurs, or the city market, is colorful and intense and loads of fun. There is a great street art culture here and if you sit in one of the small cafes off the 30, Juin Boulevard, the artists will come up and show you their pieces for sale. At number 2, Salonga National Park, Salonga is both the DRC and Africa's largest tropical rainforest. In this UNESCO World Heritage Site you'll find several endangered species including the Congo peacock, dwarf chimpanzees, forest elephants, and the slender snout crocodile. The park is quite isolated and you must take a boat to reach it. This vital ecosystem is so large that it plays an important role in climate regulation for the entire country. Check out the number one places in our list, Congo River. The Congo River formerly also known as the Zaire River, is the second longest river in Africa, shorter only than the Nile, as well as the third largest river in the world by discharge volume, following the Amazon and the Ganges rivers. It is also the world's deepest recorded river, with measured depths of around 220 m. The Congo Lualaba Chamashi River system has an overall length of 4,700 km, which makes it the world's ninth longest river. The Chambashi is a tributary of the Lualaba River, and Lualaba is the name of the Congo River upstream of Boilma Falls, extending for 1,800 kilometers. Now it's time to hear from you what's your favorite things to do in Democratic Republic of the Congo. Is there something we missed? Let us know in the comments section below and don't forget to give this video a like and subscribe to Greenable if you haven't already clicked the bell icon to stay updated on all our latest content.